Welcome to Planet Mark, and today we're going to be teaching you guys how to play the new Sean Mendes or Sean Mendes song in my blood. It's a great song, it's really easy, it's like I've just got some awesome finger picky parts, some really cool rift, which I'll be showing you exactly how to play that, and some pretty easy chords. Before I start, remember to subscribe to Planet Mark and hit that bell notification to be notified of all new great uploads, guitar lessons, ukulele lessons, and just awesome stuff all around. So let's get started. There are many different ways to play this song. I see a lot of people do different variations of capos. We're going to be playing exactly how Sean Menz plays it, and that is in drop D. But if you don't want to be dropping your E string into D, then I'll be showing you a different way that you can kind of play it. I mean, it's not exactly how he plays it, but it's just as good. So, there is a D or like a high E string drop down into a D. Very common in metal guitar. So let's go through the chords. Firstly it's um, F, B flat, and D minor. Those are the three chords that we're going to be using for the entire time of this third song. So if you already know how to play these chords then skip ahead, but if you don't know how to play them or if you just want a refresher then stick around. So uh, F chord is up here on the 8th fret. 8th fret of the 5th string that is, and kind of use your 3rd finger to kind of like lay across and bar the foot, the 10th fret of the 4th, 3rd and 2nd strings, that's our F, for our B flat we want to slide all the way this position all the way down onto the 1st fret of the 5th string, and 3rd frets of the 4th, 3rd and 2nd strings. That's our B flat. Our open D minor is 4th string open. 3rd string 2nd fret. 2nd string 3rd fret. And 1st string 1st fret. That's D minor. And those are the chords that we're going to be playing for the entirety of the song. The intro slash verse kind of starts off this is with this picky thing. You don't need to play the chords in their entirety. Kind of when what I do for picking strings is just have my first finger on the fifth string and just my third finger on the second string, tenth fret. So completely missing out the fourth and third strings. Keep them open because we're not hitting them anyway. And I suppose you can kind of mute them with your first finger if you can just so we don't hit them. Okay, so you, what you want to do is like um, using your thumb and your thumb and finger is play them both at the same time, play the fifth and the second strings at the same time. Then you want to hit your fifth string, then second, fifth and second. And that's three times, so pluck, five two, five two, five two, and then slide that. And this time don't pluck, just hit 5-2 on that, so that B flat, 5-2, 5-2, 5-2, 5-2. And this is the bit where if you have your E string tuned to drop D, you want to be hitting that 6th string open and the 2nd string. But if you didn't want to, if you, but if you haven't done that, hit your 4th string because they're both now to the same note of D, but one's an octave lower. So if you're, so it's either. That's how Sean Mem plays it, or you can do it. It's the same tune, it's the same note. And then what you want to do after that is just slide your third fret of the second string up to the fifth. Then back to a B flat, and that's pluck. Five two, five two, five two. So if you want, let's play along together. F. 5 2, 5 2, 5 2, B flat, 5 2, 5 2, 5 2, D minor, 6 2, 6 2, 6 2, slide, B flat, 5 2, 5 2, 5 2. And 
that, that's the entirety of the intro. There's some variations, but that's more to do with the bass. You don't really need to worry about that if you're playing the guitar. That's more of a bass problem. They can deal with that. And then it's kind of like the pre-chorus. So let's go. That's the same chords, exact same chords, but this time we're playing them just as a downstroke. And with this time we're playing the chords in full. So lay your third finger across that tenth fret the whole way through to play the full, not just our fingers. And it's six down strokes. So one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, slow down. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Get a D minor. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Back to B flat. And again. minor and B flat. Well, as you probably hear what I'm doing is I'm kind of pronunciating the first hit of every like fourth beat. One, two, three, four, one, two. So I'm really emphasizing on that next as in it's four bars of four. So one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three. It's just make it a bit more interesting as opposed to And as a guitarist, you always want to make the songs a lot more interesting as they are. It's trying to just plan and playing the same notes, the same chords, but just playing it differently so it gets a completely different sound out of it and kind of really building up. And the chorus is the exact same chords but um, slightly different strumming. That's like a, that's just down up, down up, down up. So the strumming is down up, down up, down up, down up. Emphasizing the first hit of every fourth beat. Yeah, so so that's the chorus, and if you and for that little riff bit in the chorus, which it has in the really distorted guitar, but that is. But that is, you can either just play it on the third and second strings. I will be showing you how to do it on the fourth, third, and second strings because it'll really because I think that it gives it a bit more of like a, of a drive. It gives it a bit more of a, it's like feeling. It gives a bit more power to it. So it's eighth fret, fourth string, tenth fret, third string, and you want to be playing your pinky finger on the tenth fret of the second string. Basically, we're just gonna be moving. We're just gonna be varying what's on this second string. That's just four down strums of that, and then we want to be sliding. Then we want to be moving our pinky finger onto the eleventh fret of the second string. Then four strums of that, and then kind of lifting off our pinky finger, and we have this bar on the eighth fret, so it's still. 8th fret on the 4th string and 10th fret on our, with our 3rd finger on the 3rd string but we're barring like the lower part of our 1st finger on the 8th fret of the 2nd string. That's just another 4 strums of that. That all together is... And again just finish it off with that 1st and just finish it off with that first little chord that we had. And that is the chorus with the, the you know the really heavy distorted bit that you hear in this song. So that is the song in its entirety. That's all the little like fiddly bits. And I hope that you've enjoyed this lesson. If you have, give it a good old like and a thumbs up. Comment below as well. What songs would you like to hear me do? I do do viewer requests as well. So remember to write in the comments below. Again, remember to subscribe to Planet Mark and hit that bell notification for all new uploads on the weekly. Remember to join us over at Twitter at PlanetMarkVlog or Facebook.com forward slash PlanetMarkVlog or our Instagram account at Laura Goodbrand. But see you in the next one guys. Bye 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 bye.